Hi, Chris here for Denke Deck and welcome to the channel. And today it's the Arduino series. Let's improve our traffic lights. So let's get started now. This is our last project. It was working fine, but we find it slow and we wanted to improve it and make it function like in some countries where it blinks before it changes colors. So this is what we are going to do today in this video. We start by changing the sketch, then upload it to the Arduino and see what we can do. For those who don't have this sketch and didn't watch the previous video, I will leave down below a link to the video as well as the sketch in the description of that video. For now, what we are going to do, and I didn't show you in the last video, it's this small arrow here. If you press on here, you have a new tab. You can see the shortcut here. You have previous tab, of course, and the next tab. This is for the tag you are in. Okay, you can delete this tag or rename the tag if you want to. For us, we are going to create a new tab and you will see as soon as I click on here, look down in the IDE and you can see it asks you for the name of the file. So I can copy this, put it there, underscore and v2, for example. Now, for saving, you have two options. You can simply press save. So if you press save, it will be in the same folder. I'll show you by doing this. It will be in the same folder here as a traffic light. It will just be traffic light v2. Okay. Now, if you save as, as I did just now, you can choose where to put. You can put it in here if you want, right? You can put it here as a underscore traffic. You have to rename it because it will create a new folder, all right? So we can do like so and save. But if we do like this, it's a new file. Now we are done with this. What we want to do is turn on the green LED. I didn't notice that previously. <laughs> I did have uh, spectacles on, I guess. The green LED connected to pin 8 for one second. Then we are not going to turn off the LED. But to turn on the LED is already on. Okay. So this is another mistake. Okay. What we are going to do is simply blink the green LED. We can do like this. Like so. The green LED connected to pin 8 three times and then turn it off five seconds how long we want to turn to blink it this is entirely up to us and how long we want to turn it off is entirely up to us for the time being I will leave it like that okay now I need to copy this control copy and paste it here and I will do that V and V here I need to go like so. All right, we turn on the yellow LED connected to pin 8 for one second, then blink uh, the yellow LED. LED connected to it's not pin 8 if you look at here the yellow is in pin 6 it's simply because we copy I know I already touched this in a previous video and this is just a reminder for you if you haven't watched it please do for the red LED we will do the same and the red LED is on pin uh, 2 if you look here of course we can always change this just remember not to put all the LED in the same pin it will not work Okay, and this is a pin 2 here, and this is the red one, like so. What we can do here, before turning off, is regress by doing like so. By doing like so, with those two, and then turn uh, the LED off for 1.2 seconds repeatedly. Uh, well, we will see uh, about this one. We are with LED green on pin 8, LED green on pin 6, and LED red on pin 2. We have the on for 5 seconds, the off for 800 milliseconds, then we have the long wait here, okay, uh, for 1.2 seconds. 
I this reset the whole thing. What we are missing here is the integer. We will put it as a blink. L E D. We will put this equals to 300 milliseconds. Don't forget the semicolon here. Okay. In the pin mode, we are still the same. Okay. Now the loop can change. So we have LED green on, LED green off, but in between, we just have here, we can do like so, copy this, control copy, I just press the right arrow, enter, now I control V. Once this is done, we just have to count how many blinks we need. So as you can see, this one we have to turn low, this one we have to turn high, and so on and so forth until we have enough blinks. So what I have to do now is to select, to turn on the LED, this one will be turned off the LED, we will set the delay to the blink one, then we have to turn on the LEDs. So I put a space, copy this, then I paste it there, like so. Then I just have to change the on position for the blink. So I double click here, copy, control copy, double click on the on, control V, and I do so as often as needed, which means normally I need it three times. This one I can change it to low, then it's on, I can change the blink one, it's still on high, that's correct, so I low, I low, I have now to change the delay, just notice that I missed one blink, so I put the space, paste it there, uh, I know I noticed I'm missing a delay, I will add it later, but let's change all the blink and uh, we will see how it goes. Now I do need to add the delay blink that is missing. We have high, low, high, low, high, low. So one, two, three. What's left now is to tidy up the sketch, make sure that there is no mistakes. I will copy the whole thing. Uh, as you can see, this one it's uh, an extra. I didn't notice it, so I will simply remove that, like so. Very simple. I must not forget to change the description. I know, it's a troublesome but it can help. So this one here, if we look, the blink is 300 milliseconds and not second, alright? Milliseconds. I just have to copy this now and uh, apply it where the things need to be changed, like here and below there. For the last one we can leave it, of course we can change it to uh, blinked, but we will leave it like this and see what the sketch does with that. Now the only things I have to do is to copy the whole things and paste it down below. So I will speed it up the process, upload it, go to the Arduino and see what the sketch looks like. Don't forget to repeat the process for the two other colors, the yellow that I don't know how to spell and the red one. Here I'm going to change the green LED for the yellow uh, LED green to LED yellow. So I double click here, copy and here double click and paste. Everything is done now. I just have to verify the sketch. Once this is done, you can see, I just have to upload it. Let's move on over to the Arduino now. Yes, the code works. Not really as we want, as you can see. If you count the blinking, it doesn't do like in the real thing. I will speed it up now because what we have to do is go back to the code and see what we can change. If we count the blink, we have actually only two. The last one is just the delay. So I will just copy the delay, starting from the bottom, yes and make sure I got a full blink plus the delay and I will copy this like so and replace the last delay like so. Now we have three blinks, right? I will copy the whole thing, go down and change by pasting on the last line for the yellow LED without forgetting to change everything to yellow because it's not the LED green, of course, but we have a problem otherwise, and I replaced the same process, copy, go down to the red one and do the same. Then back to the Arduino and check what this does. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm happy about it. <laughs> anyway, just let me know in the comment down below if you want me next week to improve again, maybe uh, do a four-way or two-way traffic light, and maybe introducing, I don't know, a sensor or a switch you know, like if you want to press a button and cross uh, the road. In the meantime, 
thanks for watching guys and don't forget that all the link including the code will be in the description down below. I hope that you do like this video. If you do, you can do your YouTube things. Press like, subscribe, you can even press the bell button if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, leave a comment down below and tell me why you do not like it. I will do my best to improve it and make it better for you. Anyway, stay safe guys and bye now.